Hello, everybody. Welcome to a new season of Call of Cthulhu. We're back. We've got some new faces, and we got some new chaos to spread. Um, so quick disclaimer, um, we're going to try and keep it to the lighter side of M slash PG-13. There will be fucks abound, both intentional and unintentional, so your discretion is advised. Um, does anybody want to go... You guys want to go through and introduce yourselves real quick, or do you want to just jump into the story? I think introductions are good. Okay. We'll go down the line. Sure. Oh no, it's me first. Yep. The nickname's Germ, and I'm playing. Um, do I introduce like how do introductions? Well, um, it's about your character. Oh, my name's Jerem. I'm playing Hermes, a prop gambler from New Orleans who found his way up to Reno for reasons, and now he's stuck there for a while. Because of luck. Nice. Gav? Hello, my name is Gav. This session I am playing uh, Lisette Besson, a... French mechanic, French army mechanic that found love during the war and moved to Reno to be with her girlfriend. And I think Mal is stupid. But with love. A little love. Tiny bit wow. Of <laughs> wow, Toots, thanks. Smallest, thanks a lot. The smallest amount of love. Uh, thanks, just Toots. know that Sylvia made me say that. All right, Chev, your turn. Hello, I'm Chev. I'll be playing Olivia Baker, um, a federal agent who specializes in the supernatural. Hey. Flower. Hello, everybody. It's me again. <laughs> um, hi, Flower. Hi, I'm Flower. I'll be playing Malcolm, who is a... Oh my god. A farmer at World War II. Shut up, Tuts! I'm playing World War a former World War II vet a uh, scout plane pilot who now um got into some minor trouble, lost his pilot's license, and is now in Reno working as a DJ radio announcer. Also, Tuts, why you gotta be so mean? Like I said, it is with love. Is that how they breed them in France? Mean ass bitch. Well, then stop acting like you deserve it. <laughs> be smarter. Damn. I'm telling Sylvia on you. No, whatever will I do? <laughs> Alright, and last but not least, Oki. Hello, my name is Oki. My pronouns are they, them. I am going to be playing Elliot Barnes, a Philadelphia man who is stuck in Reno for reasons that will soon be revealed. Alright, and as always, I am the keeper of arcane lore, Beth. So let's get into it. Our story starts. On June 15th, 1950, we are in the lovely city, the biggest little city in the world, Reno, Nevada. And our location is, in particular, um, Paradise Park. Uh, they're having a summer in the park kind of event, kind of like a, a weird farmer's market, but craftspeople can show up, you know. Hey, we got the park. Time to celebrate the summer. Woohoo! Kind of thing. So, we can go down the line and you can t tell me or tell the others whether you've been voluntold to run a booth or seen the site. Who'd like to go first?
I can go first. I feel that uh, we ended up getting, well, uh, me in particular, I ended up getting a little bit fallen told because Sylvia uh, wanted to sell some of her, you know, fresh med jams and fresh honey and eggs. Little things. All right. But it is a, a small, a small little booth, small table with a floral tablecloth, handwritten uh, labels and tags. All right. Yes. Uh, go ahead and roll me a charm really quick. Do, 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 one, two. Do, 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 do. Mm, I failed. 43. All right. Would you like to re-roll? Spend some luck? Mm, I think I would like to push it. All right. 31. Fail. All right. Do you want to There's no. Yeah. spend the seven points? Having been voluntold to be here? No. Nah. All right. <laughs> I'll be a little bit charming with the gentleman in front of the table. <laughs> your, your charm is kind of conflicting with the resting bitch face that you've got going on since you've been voluntold to help out with this. This isn't really what you particularly wanted to do on your afternoon. So he's kind of... He's trying not to be as uncomfortable as he is. And trying to focus on talking to Sylvia instead. That's perfectly fine. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Olivia, would you like to tell me what are you doing in this park park event? Sorry, was that yeah. me? I, I apologize. Um, I thought you said Sylvia. Uh, by yeah. Um, Olivia, I think is going to probably meet her informant by now. Alrighty. Uh, go ahead and. She's Probably even calm down. All right, roll me a spot hidden real quick. Okay. I think, ooh, okay. Uh oh. Um, where's that? That is a 78, so that fails. All right, do you want to reroll? I think we might have, like, arranged this beforehand, you know? Like, we, like, meet, like, secret agent style, you know, like in some kind of like weird corner by like a trash can where we both lean up against the wall <laughs> and talk oh, to each other, on. you know? <laughs> I'm classy. I, I'm, I'm You're classier than that? Than okay, that. that's what Olivia thinks is going to happen. Yeah, that's what Olivia's thinking is going to happen, you know, just be smooth, secret, nothing. You're looking around the supposed meetup spot. You're not seeing anybody that remotely looks like your informant. Oh. Uh, she's like, great. This is a perfect start to my to my mission. Perfect. Alright. She's probably gonna walk around until she finds him, at least. Alright. Unless he spots her first. Hermes, why don't you roll me a spot hidden? Let's see what we got. I hope I succeed. I you know what? F it. Come on, big money. That is a 53, which is a success. Yay, awesome. Um, out of the corner of your eye, as you're kind of looking around, kind of seeing if you can uh, make some easy quick side bets, you do spot... Olivia, what, looking around, she looks a little irritated. Um, but you do spot her. It's probably not hard to see because she's wearing like 
a trench coat and jeans and stuff like that. So like not right. very typical wear you would find. I'm fully expecting just not even by the corner of my eye, I turn around and I see just a spot of gray trench coat walking. I'm like oh, aimlessly God. walking. Uh, can I go up to her and kind of like you know meet up with her as she's walking towards the into the farmer's market? Uh, so you're gonna go up and kind of like tap her on the shoulder? Just like kind of slide in to her DMs <laughs> if you will. Just kind of like Lovely produce we have over here, don't you think? Liv, was it? Oh. Olivia? Uh, yeah. Uh, lovely produce. Um, mm -hmm. I'm looking for somebody. Do you, you seen anyone maybe, like, doing something they're not supposed to? Like, leaning against a wall, maybe? Now, sweet cakes, why would I know your name? If we've just met. So, uh, it, this is, this, this is where you like to meet in the farmer's market? Like, I was over there, you know, under the, the tree. You can see, you can see my little spot. I brought myself a sandwich. And I even left it there. And, well, the tree's on, like, a hill over there. The wall. Come it seemed on. like there were going to be eyes all over us there. Uh, we can go back to your tree. Yeah, if you go. left your sandwich, you kind of yeah, it's it. a good, it's a good sandwich. It's my mom's recipe. Let's go. Come on. You got I guess we go back to the tree. <laughs> <laughs> can I grab? Can, can I buy Not like a paste or something nearby? Be like, can I? Thank you for the lady. She is not amused you are treating her like a dog, though. I'm not treating her. With, with the come on and the clapping. <laughs> like, we what? gotta go. I'm a, I, I ask for some time off. Some well-paid time off. And, mm -hmm. I, you know, I don't like that you thought I was next to trash. Do I look like a trash man well, to you? I can pay you for your time, mister. Okay, here you Please. go. Hold on. I'll go to the nearest vendor that's selling like sandwiches or like pastries. Buy one for her and be like, "Here you go." Thank you. I, I suppose. Can we can we go talk business, please? Yes, yes. Go on. I'll lead the way. I suppose they go back to the tree. All right. Yes. Uh, the one tree, the hangout tree. The hangout tree. Uh, roll me a spot hidden really quick. Which one? Everyone. Or just you two. Oh my god, Ooh. we're doing so well tonight. That's a 100. I got, <laughs> I got a 34. <laughs> Alright. So, let's start with him. You, you... It does not look like anybody has come to your spot. Everything looks pretty... Like it was when you left it. Olivia, you roll me a sanity check real quick. Oh god, okay. <laughs> Starts off well. That's a 49. Oh. I believe that passes. Yeah, that's a pass. So for a brief <laughs> second, your, the world starts spinning. And it's almost like a case of Ritigo. But you don't see anything that is out of the ordinary, but you do kind of stop and have to recenter yourself. Yeah, she stumbles a little bit, catches herself on the ground. Yeah. Uh, Hermes, do you want to check and roll a dex and see if you catch her? Sure. Oh, I thought, okay. Oh. I thought I'm she, like, tripped but caught herself, you know? Like, okay. you know how, like, you quickly take another step? True. Um, I'm just still going, trying to like help her. Okay. Oh. 
You okay there, Olivia? Ah, uh, yes. I think it's. I think it's just the heat getting to me. I'm not used to Nevada yet. I think I succeeded. Even... I need to roll under my stat. Yeah. Oh yeah, that's a success. Okay, so we'll say that you uh, successfully notice and kind of help her steady herself so she doesn't face plant. Okay. And it's you help it make it look super subtle that she tripped. Ooh. Yes, and sorry, it must be the heat. I'm not used to it here. You know you know what doesn't help? Hmm. Your huge ass coat. Don't don't talk about my coat. Like it's it's nice. It's it's a statement. It like it's it's beautiful. You have a problem with coats? I'm as starting I'm to wear why I came dark, here. As I'm wearing a dark green <laughs> coat of a suit. No, it's nice. It's just like it's... It, is it like a thick coat? Anyway, business, yes. He's just looking at him. <laughs> just, just, just looking. Mm -hmm. So business, yes. Yeah. How may I help you, detective, officer, investigator? Uh you can just call me uh, Miss Baker, that's fine. Miss Baker? Okay. Anyway, I was pointed in your direction because you said you saw something that seemed a little out of the ordinary a little while ago. Um, I mean, it's either, you know, uh, I was drugged and kind of messed with or my memory is a blank for a set of time I came here to to Nevada a while ago and I was invited by this uh, poker table named at the top of my head come on the, the Royal Flush and I woke up the next day and I was in between some type of motel I decided to stay at. It was nice. Not too, you know, shab. Uh, I think she takes out, like, a pen and a paper and starts running this down. Um, all right, Mr. What did you say your name was? Miss Lafontaine. Nice to meet you. Uh, it's a pleasure. She says, as it's clearly not <laughs> been so far. Well, it seems either way I could either pass this on to my other associates, or perhaps I should look into this a little further. Um, also, by the way, aside, if we're taking too long, feel free to just, like, stop okay. and move I gotcha. on. Well, let's just wrap it up a little bit here, and then I'll jump to Mal or Elliot. And... Great. Um, and where did you say this happened? Um, where did it happen? Uh, oh, lovely paper. Go ahead and roll me a knowledge check, real quick. A knowledge check, yes. So, what education? Education, I rolled. Oh, jeez, oh, Louises. I rolled a beautiful 99. I have no clue. Do you want to try and press your luck? I don't have enough luck to press. All right. Um... <laughs> a little bit of, like, blood trickles down his nose. Ah, no. That, All I of a sudden, you just yeah, start I hearing this. Are you okay? It's like, da -da -da -da. Blank. You have not the foggiest idea. Does blood actually come out of no. his nose? <laughs> no. <laughs> but okay. he just has this, you just see the, the metaphorical gears turn and start smoking and then kind of fizzle out. Sadly, right. my mind is a blank. Did you go to the police with this? No, because usually I deal with, uh, you know, 
low lives that try to uh, screw with me. I yeah. And I thought it was that until I asked around the local crews, and nobody really knew I was there until I made myself known. So, made yourself yeah. known. You know, I'm I'm the epitome of I know a guy. If you need help, if you need someone, I most likely know a guy. And who did you know that invited you to this table? I just got an invitation in the mail. It was nice, oh. too. It didn't have, like, an address on it or anything? I'm really, really just grilling this man. No. It had, I think, some instructions. I don't know. I kind of lost it after, you know, blanking out. Okay. Well, on that cheerful I think, note, I think, uh, Mal. I think I had to bring it with me. I don't know. I'm sorry. I'm starting to get hungry. Hello. Yes, Mal. What are you doing? Are you volun- Are you running the booth? Well, I did my shift. I am free. So I can rest my honey voice, and I hear that somebody got voluntold to be here. And now that I'm free, I'm gonna go find them. All right. <laughs> One moment. <laughs> All right. So go ahead and roll me a spot hidden. All right. Fail. 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 Uh, I rolled a one. You <laughs> <laughs> rode in on her from three blocks away. <laughs> I just heard your voice and I'm like, that's it. That's the shrew. Let's go. <laughs> Not only do you see her glowering at the poor guy who's finishing paying up for like the stuff from Sylvia. You're also seeing, you saw some lady in a trench coat follow some guy in an emerald green green suit. And they both look a little overheated, but it's fine. They'll be fine. But you... I don't think that I can say much, because I'm pretty sure I'm wearing my A1 leather flight jacket. <laughs> Are you from here? There's a difference. <laughs> um, I mean, I'm from California, but yeah, same diff, I guess. Alright, let's go. Alright. I'm gonna mosey on over. Oh, no. Just pretending like I'm looking at the other stuff and then slide up to the table. Just like you just hear <laughs> your hard thing. the longest sigh in the world. I would like to say to add to this ambiance, this is a short king at five foot five. <laughs> so you have this short five foot five king, blonde hair, thick ass square glasses, and his little bomber jacket. Oh, you <laughs> Looks like he's in his mid to late thirties with all the fucking like just war. <laughs> um, he's like, oh, "What do we got here?" Hmm. Oh, oh no! You've you've forgotten how to read? No, I remember how to read. Had me worried there for a moment, Mal. Ha ha, where's Sylvie? Where's the sunshine to your cloudy day? Sylvie went to go get the lemonade. She would be back in about five minutes. So what you're saying is I have five minutes to torture you till she gets back. <laughs> <laughs> yes, why not? Uh, <laughs> just distract me from selling things for Sylvia. I'm sure she would love this. 
Um, is the guy still there? The guy has left. He's kind of taken his stuff and is GTFO'd. Uh, uh, are you going to buy something, pal, or are you just going to waste my time? Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna buy some. I'm gonna buy some. So let's see. We got some eggs. We got honey. Well, definitely take some honey. I was going to suggest it. Perhaps it could uh, sweeten your attitude. Don, I don't think anything could make me sweet enough for you to <laughs> stand. This is true. <laughs> that is okay. If you would like, you can buy half a dozen eggs and I will deliver them personally tonight to your home. One at a time, at velocity. <laughs> well, you, what, what would you make, like a little catapult too? Like if I'm going to pay for this service. At least well, uh, let me give me, give me a show. <laughs> I will tie them to a firecracker. It will be nice. Oh. Don't worry. Arson and egg damage. You wanted the full surface package. I didn't say that, but uh, I congratulate you on the subtle upcharge. His business. All right. He gets out his wallet. He's like, let's see. Do not need the eggs. I will take the honey. <laughs> what else is there for sale? There are also various jams, jellies. There are hand sewed little, uh, I think they're called pot holders. Um, you put I'll them take under the your strawberry jam. Pot. Uh, I believe there is also some uh, lacy placemats. If you like, take the, I'll take two of the jam. Marvelous. Insert so. appropriate American currency here. <laughs> Thank you. Hands over proper American currency here. Yeah. And you keep the change, dear. Thank you for the tip. Well, gotta do something to sweeten your day a little bit. Maybe you'll start glowering <laughs> to everybody. A smile. And it just like the most fake. <laughs> Dead eyed, full teeth, smile. <laughs> Absolutely charming, doll. <laughs> charming. Oh boy. Um, <sighs> Elliot. So. Um. So far. Yes. I had nothing. Go ahead. All right. Elliot, what are you doing at the park? I. Uh, I'd assume I'm following around my sister and her significant other. Yeah. Just... All right. Um, you're following her around. Um, she. This is very much a trying to make bonding happen, but there's a pretty obvious con of tense. You don't really like the boyfriend. You don't like being dragged out into the summer of Reno. Just not a lot going on for you. Very minimal reminders of home. Yeah, and it's too hot. Would you like to roll me a spot hidden, please? Yes, this is a D100, right? Yep. One dice I don't actually have. All right. Uh, sixty-two. Sixty-two. That is a fail. Do you want to re-roll? We're not even going to no. suggest spending your luck. <laughs> um. Yeah, that luck that I have. Sure. <laughs> yeah, let's not do that. Um. All right. Um. You kind of. You don't really see anything that immediately grabs your eye. There's a couple of, you know, there's a couple of booths of like, hey, jams, produce. Um, and like the one that you're, 
you three are kind of walking up in as this woman that's doing a really fake smile at the guy that's holding some jams and honey in his hands. Hmm. Do I, do I notice anything about this, or they're just, one clearly doesn't like the other that yeah, much? Yeah, one clearly does not like the other that much. Uh, I'll just keep walking by that. Alright. Everybody, collective Thank spot hidden, please. I have assistance. I have a 14. All right. That's 100. Okay. So just to double check, Hermes, Malcolm, and Olivia passed. Elliot got 100. And Lizette passed. Okay. Um, Elliot, roll me a constitution check real quick. All right. Is that another? D100. All right. I'm, I'm going to ask this constantly because I am dumb and forget things. All good. It is typically a D100. All right. 27. So... You managed to, similar to what happened with Olivia, all of a sudden you got a weird case of vertigo, and it's kind of like a, whoa, probably you start, not going to say it's a heat stroke, but man, you, the weather and you are not agreeing today. Yeah, I think I'll just kind of like say out loud, just like after that stone, like, God damn, where can I get some fucking water? Water. I, I've got... <laughs> Give me a sec. Alan kind of looks at you as like, we walked past like three stands with drinks. Why didn't you say something earlier? Because I'm only now starting to feel the fucking heat. <laughs> she kind of shakes her head. Like, really? Um, well, do you just want water, or would you care if I got you something else? Doesn't matter, as long as it helps. She kind of nods, and then she um, is going to pat Thomas on the shoulder, and then just be kind of like, Okay, I'll be right back. And then scurries off into the crowd uh, to go get you a drink and stuff. You do get kind of get an eye roll from Thomas. Um, it's a subtle one, but it's very much a seriously man. I'm just going to narrow my eyes at him and wait for him to say something. <laughs> Thankfully, Thomas is not that stupid. And he doesn't say anything. But going back to... Good. But... Hmm? Oh, he doesn't, he doesn't say anything. It's... I'm just gonna have a fun... Okay. Fun, tense moment between two men. I, I will just glare at him. <laughs> and think angry thoughts. Alright. Now, for everybody else, you guys can kind of see what looks to be a couple of similarly dressed kids kind of not quite circling in like a very obvious manner, but there seems to be a group of kid teenagers, roughly say 16, 17 years old. And they're kind of seeming to come near this one booth that's very plainly dressed, uh, plainly, it's kind of one of those corporate ad looking booths where it's like, oh yeah, here's whatever insurance. And like, they're just there because, hey, free advertising.
Are they like circling for the kill? Uh, roll me a psychology. Hmm. 63. Not really worth it to push. It's... Is that what the booth is? It's like a corporate booth or just an advertisement? It's, it's very pl- It's plain in the sense that it looks kind of like a corporate booth. Basically, whoever is running it did Somebody not spend manning? the money on big advertising things. Um, The person there seems to be this rather sm- petite looking 20, 25 year old who's just kind of smiling as if she's not there's not a group of teenagers near her booth. Uh, can I go over there? Yeah. See what's up. Are you going to do it sneaky or? Uh, no, I'll probably just walk over. Right. It's public, public place. So that's not a sneaky thing. Okie doke. Uh, is there, um, is there a problem here? Are you saying this to the woman at the booth who seems very anxious? Oh no, she's she's perfectly chill. Oh, yeah, okay. she's got a bright smile on her face. You come over and she kind of perks up and is like, "Oh, hello. How are you? How can I help you?" Hi. Or what do you sell here? Oh, I'm just here to give out information about this company. She kind of hands you a very like one of those little brochures about like, hey, here's our business. Uh, very business like. <laughs> Thank so you. Businessy. What are the kids doing? They're glaring. They're watching. Okay. Sizing you up. Uh, to just skip through a bunch of stuff, I'm just going to stand there and make some small talk while kind of just like keeping an eye on the kids to see what's up. All right. Uh, Hermes, when Olivia left, are you going to follow after, or? Yeah. I, could I kind of, like, um, flank her from, like, the other side? Do you want to do it sneaky? Do you want to just kind of casually walk? Casually blend into the crowd and be like, oh, hey, what is this booth? Okay. Um... She kind of turns, kind of bubbly, be like, oh, hello, how are you? How can I help you, sir? I have been attracted by the visuals of this booth. Quite a nice booth you have there, madam. Oh, thank you very much. And we'll wink at her. Kind of wink at her. (laughs) She doesn't seem to make any reaction to it. I I just want to nudge. Hermes, please. <laughs> just with the, uh, like, please don't. <laughs> I just give her give her the stare, like, shush, I'm doing my thing. Uh, let me charm really quick. Oh, oh, oh. I'm good at charm. Watch me roll at 100. <laughs> and- this um this entire time I think Olivia is just gonna kind of try to look Ooh. like she's she's having a conversation, but mainly keep an eye on that's what a beautiful seems like 45. a devious thing happening. All right, that's a forty-five, a success. Okay. Um, she she kind of chuck, chuckles a little bit, it's like, oh, of course. <laughs> um, uh, she. Don't kind of look at you too, but her smile never falls. Um, before she kind of, uh, you know that kind of that smile that you give when you when like you're about to say something, but then you're like, nah, that couldn't be it. And you catch yourself before you say something stupid. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's, is something the matter? Oh no, no, not at all. I. I thought that, you know, you two were together, but I that couldn't be right. <laughs> oh, uh me with uh, this the sky now it's um he, no, just, he likes your business, I think. Yeah, and I'm just showing her around. We accidentally bumped in to each other at the you know, at the entrance. Oh. 
That sounds like such a delightful way to meet. <laughs> what? What is this business, by the way? Oh, it. If you don't mind me asking. It is a. Give me a sec. Oh. What? I thought this was just made up fantasy business. <laughs> So I brushed past it. I thought it was Business Incorporated. <laughs> uh, it is... It's not quite like an asylum, but it, we are here for help people's health and to better them, better themselves. She kind of kind of hands the brochure on. The brochure itself has... Um, Kind of like the gen I don't want to say generic, but it's the bill it's the building and it says pleasant views. Oh. Did you guys just open? Why yes, yes we did. Well, I'm sorry, what was the name of it? Pleasant Views. Oh, that's the name of it. <laughs> you know a place is good when she opens with it's not quite an asylum. <laughs> <laughs> hmm, that's a little suspicious. Uh, uh, excuse me. I've been fighting allergies all week, so. Is is the um, building new? Did you guys buy it? She kind of does the. Uh, this was not the script. I'm not entirely sure. But what I do know is that it's it there this. Uh there are state of the art equipment and it's very wonderful. Can I Yeah, can I get a vibe check on this one? Yeah. <laughs> oh my god, you say that <laughs> Chad, I love you. Can I vibe check her too? Yeah, I'll go ahead and roll me psychologies. Sweet, sweetie looks a little too uh, too lost for my taste. Oh, that's fifty-seven. That's a fail for me. That's a forty-five again, and that's a success for moi. All right. Do you want to uh, re-roll, Olivia? Um. Nah. All right. So, um, Olivia. She's a little caught up thinking about that maybe this asylum is like haunted or something. Maybe there's something living in the walls. You, she is very caught off guard of like, uh, I, I was given a script. I'm stuck with the script. Uh, I don't know what to do. Um, Hermes, you kind of get the vibe that you've thrown her, you've thrown her off because this is not in the script that she had when she was told, hey, you're running the booth. Um, and you can also get a kind of sense that she's trying to not say anything too out there and that she seems aware of the audience that she has, at least in the sense of it's more than just you two watch watching her. Hmm. Okay. Uh, and how are these children doing? Uh, roll me spot hidden. Okay. She was kind of keeping her eye on them the whole time. Mm -hmm. That is a 10, I think. Zero is 10, I believe. Is it a zero, one, zero? Well, it's a 10 and a 0. Okay. I mean, the 10 on the D10 is a 0, yeah. right? You're good. Okay. It's the three zeros you have to worry about. Nope, yep, that's a 10. Then. All right. Um, you Taking glances around, you can see that um, the group of teenagers, uh, they are dressed pretty grungily. Um, some leather jackets. You can kind of tell that they uh, work with machines. 
you've heard about like biker gangs been warned about them when you came into the city and stuff um these guys kind of seem along the same same vibes um they're watching you they're si they are definitely sizing up you and Hermes and every once in a while they keep looking at the woman they're co it almost seems like they are waiting for you two to leave. Does one of them look like a leader or anything? Uh, roll me a psych check. Okay. Hopefully I roll a 10 again. Oh, that's a one. Is that a one? Yes. Nice. Is it a zero, zero, and then a one? Yep. Yep. I wasn't sure if it was a one or a seven, but it's a one. Yay! Uh, you can, doing like another out of your corner, peek out of this. You can see that there is somebody, looks about 18, 19 years old. He's broad-shouldered, a little bit of facial hair, kind of wisps on his chin. His hair is slicked back pretty heavily um and he's leaning against like some of the trash cans and stuff and there is a vibe about him that is like yeah i'm the one in charge all right can i go over and talk to him you can do whatever you want talk to everyone i'll do that if you want to put, like, a pin in this and come back to this in a minute. Sounds good. Malcolm, Lizette, what's up with you guys? Um, <sighs> well, let's see. I got my jams. I got my honey. <laughs> Don't look now, Mel. It looks like the local gang has found a target. Uh, would like to uh, <laughs> turn around to look, <laughs> spot check those bitches. <laughs> All right, spot check. Um, do I need to make a psych roll or? Uh, are you looking? Or kind of more trying to vibe check? Um, vibe check. All right, go ahead and roll. Is Lizette full of shit? <laughs> Is All right. Uh, 70. 70. All right. Uh, do you want to re-roll or... No, Alright. Uh kinda looks like Lizette's full of shit. Do we recognize the lady at the booth? Uh go ahead and roll me uh knowledge, please. Seven. Seven. She looks familiar. Like you can kinda like you you went up and talked to her and got her name, you'd probably be able to put a name to the face. Um, you do recognize uh, the teenagers that are around as this, as members of this gang called the Vipers. Oh, it's the Vipers. Uh, you know, I cannot quite remember that lady's name, but... Um, what would I know about the Vipers, Beth? Uh, only a knowledge check. Oh no, not a knowledge check. Actually, Lisette might know a lot about the Vipers, seeing as she repairs motorcycles. 32. 32. Lisette, if you would like to roll a knowledge with advantage, so roll twice, take the lower. Twenty-four. All right, you guys both know that these, uh, as far as motorcycle gangs go, these guys aren't horrible. Like, the most they do is loiter some vandalism and stuff. 
Um, mm-hmm. They also are very much of a, you got cash, we got information. Um, Lizette, you in particular know that a couple of the fellas c- go to your shop. And some of them have have given quote unquote donations. They don't, so long as you don't ask where they got the parts from, you get to keep them. That is perfectly fine. I wonder if uh, that one gentleman ever got his carburetors figured out. I, I, told him, I told him they were imbalanced, but he insisted that they were fine. <laughs> his problem, not mine. <laughs> so I, think I told, him, do I told him they left one. It sounds a little bit... But that's fine. So what, you think they're gonna egg this lady's stall just like you were gonna egg my house? Um, Mal, that is a full service delivery. Um, and I don't, don't see that they have any eggs and they haven't bought any from me, so... Besides, what exactly are they going to do in broad daylight at the park? Well, that's true, but I mean... With everybody watching them. Well, they're kids, that's the peak time to do is when everybody's watching. Haven't Maybe you ever been a kid, Lizette? Well, according to my knowledge of the passage of time, yes. Oh, you sure you didn't come out of the womb a crotchety old lady? <laughs> that is funny coming from you, Mel. <laughs> uh, it is hard to imagine a time when you were shorter. You know what? He's just like, just like, hands up, disgruntled little face. Just like, oh. <laughs> bitch! <laughs> bitch! <laughs> Roll for low blow. <laughs> what did I roll for that? Who's rolling? I don't know. It's just roll for low blow. <laughs> 38. <laughs> He's like, all right, all right. So, should we just watch this happen, or you think we should go rescue that poor lady in those... Well, I cannot leave the booth. If you want to go, that is up to you. I will watch whatever happens from here. Of course you would. Of <laughs> course. All right, well, let's go. I'm bored anyways. <laughs> You're not the most... uh Delightful company, are you, Lizette? And a perfect delight, Mal. It is you who has the issues. Sure, sure. Wah, wah. And... And he turns on his heel. Well, he blows her a kiss first. Just like a mwah. Bye, Lizette. <laughs> Put some sugar in your lemonade when you get it. Mm. Um, and then he'll just kind of like mosey on up behind the teenagers with his hands in his pockets. Uh, and I imagine if you will allow me to, Beth, All right. that he's going to just kind of go up to whoever's in the back, hands in his pocket, and lean over like their shoulder to be like so what are we doing <laughs> give me one second I need to <laughs> the kids do you lean over like jumps the two feet in the air it's like what the fuck and you have all of a sudden a bunch of eyes on you gang members the woman running the booth and Hermes. Hermes and Olivia <laughs> both staring at you. <laughs> He's just so nonchalant about it. <laughs> She's like, so what's the plan? What are we standing around for? None of your fucking business. Jeez, don't sneak up on me like that. Alright, alright, sorry, sorry. Hands up and like some oxer and she's like, just 
thought you had some nice jackets. And he like fluffs out his lapel of his jacket. He's like, I'm just a really like jackets and you had a really nice set. <laughs> had to compliment you. Guy who you spooked is just like, there's other ways to do that. It's creeping up on me. He's getting kind of <laughs> ribbed by the uh, other member of the gang closest to him. She's like, shh. Just like, how tall are these kids? Uh, they're they're <coughs> ranging from slightly taller than you to pretty tall, much taller than you. <laughs> oh my god! Oh no! <laughs> Short cakes surrounded by tall whelps. <laughs> She's like, hmm. You know, you look like you're in for a little bit of mischief. Have you considered egging? There's a nice booth over there with eggs. I think you know her. Fixes some of your bikes. The teens are going to kind of look, exchange looks with each other and kind of look over at the leader who's going to kind of size you up in a very casual kind of way. <laughs> There's not much to say. <laughs> <laughs> and then they're just gonna he's gonna kind of make a head nod and the teens will disperse. But they're it's pretty clear that they're giving the side eye to the lady in the booth. Mm. Nice. Bye bye, gents. He got them to live with just his personality. Can I size them up as they leave? Uh, yeah, sure. Go ahead and roll me a psychology. Uh, he. That's, that's a, that's a nope. How bad of a nope is it? No, oh, no, actually, actually, no. That's that's good. Sorry. A uh, thirty-eight. Oh yeah. Um. I read it backwards. Um, from watching them leave and some of their body language and stuff, you can get a vibe that they're not impressed with you guys coming in and stopping what they were planning. But they also know that while technically numbers are even, they are technically outnumbered. So this battle is not over. But keep an eye out. Does one pass by Hermes? Yeah. I I'm just gonna kind of like pat him on the shoulder and just wave bye bye very nonchalantly. You gonna pat pat him on the shoulder? Bye-bye. Yeah. Roll me a deck, Goodbye. please. Actually, roll me a dodge. A dex? A dodge? Ooh. So half of your dex. That's an 11. You pat him on the shoulder. He turns to swing at you, but you manage to duck out of the way just in time. Goodbye. He looks ready to swing at you again, but uh, the leader, or what you assume to be the leader, kind of grabs him on the shoulder roughly and kind of holds him back. And is like, later, let's go. And with that, the Vipers have kind of disperse into the crowd, do their own thing. <laughs> what was that? What just happened? Shorty over here, he, you know, scared the shit out of them. Meanders over to the lady at the booth. <laughs> Just like, those whippersnappers have been giving you trouble. Uh, no, I mean, yes. Just a tiny bit what? of trouble, but that's okay. What kind of trouble? Well, I mean, 
mostly just scaring away people so I can't talk to them. Talk to them about what, sweetheart? She, she kind of hands a brochure to you. This helped. He he opens the brochure and he speed reads it. He's like, all right, all right. Yeah, it's basically kind of like a health spa brochure of like, hey, become brand new you. Da 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 da. Uh, he reaches into his back pocket and pulls out like a little business, like a, one of those tiny, thin business card holders. Um, and, and he flips it open and he hands her a business card for the DJ, whatever, um, for the radio station. He's like, no, if you need to do some more marketing, get in touch with the, uh, the gals down at the office. Oh, okay. Thank you. You're welcome. And he's kind of, kind of be like, evening, evening. <laughs> Uh, excuse me? <laughs> Who are you? Uh, what? You mean you don't? <laughs> oh, well, do you know? Um, I he's, don't. No. He's like, <laughs> well, you can call me Malcolm. If you listen between the hours of 12 and 6 a.m., then it's a mad mal in the morning. Shrugs. <laughs> Plus, if you're up that late. Oh, 12 a.m. Okay. Oh. Yeah, 12 a.m. to like 6 a.m. 12 p.m. to 6 a.m. No. I was like, dang, that's a really long... No, long 12 show. p.m. <laughs> to, 12, to 6 a.m. Well, I'll probably get um, back to California somehow. <laughs> can I also get a card? Oh, uh, sure thing. He gives her... The business card. Thank you. You're welcome. We play all the latest hits, and if you uh, listen in, sometimes we have special uh, broadcast at 3 a.m. How special? You know, stuff that makes you go bump in the night, creepy crawlies, ghost stories. Mm -hmm. Olivia likes this. She likes this. <laughs> <laughs> oh, ghost stories. I have a few of my own, actually. Oh, we're always looking for some new material to put on air. If you write anything, you could send it in. We can maybe get it out there. Perhaps. I have your card. Maybe I'll be in touch. Sure thing. Um... Uh, my name's Mal. What's yours? Goes for the I'm handshake. Olivia. I guess she shakes his hand. It is not an overbearing handshake. It is rather pleasant, and it is as short as it needs to be. <laughs> is that a pun? No. <laughs> it's just, it doesn't overstay its welcome. Okay. This is very different than the other to the who's on shoes or shoes. Sorry, Hermes. <laughs> <laughs> and he like did can um, I, she give him a business I, card or something I'm sorry no can I when this is happening Hermes just very confused that the the little man um <laughs> <laughs> just slowly slinks away aiming for the nearest drink booth hopefully Lizette <laughs> Kind of just like slowly slinks back like a green mist, just like. <laughs> sure. So that you kind of see this guy kind of. We notice this? Uh, we're only spot hidden. So let's see if we do. Do I need to roll some? I, I mean, I'm going to let it roll. I just want to talk. No offense. 76. 33. So okay. I believe that passes. Yeah. Um. So I see him. Okay, so we got a pass from Olivia, pass from Malcolm. Uh, give me a sec. Hermes, roll me. Yeah. One sec. Stealth. 
Stealth? Stealth. So you have to hit 20% or lower. 20% or lower. Nope, hold on. Even if it's one of my skills? Okay. 35 or lower? 35 or lower. Cool, cool, efficient bull. All right. That is a... I fully say... <clears throat> excuse me. And just walk away. I rolled a 77. <laughs> now... <clears throat> my bad. <laughs> Olivia, you kind of... Not even out of the corner of your eye. You just kind of see this guy kind of awkwardly shimmy back. Yeah, I mean, she's gonna let him go. She just wants to say, oh, Mr. Hermes, if you to yeah. remember what we talked about earlier, please contact me. Yeah. This is when I wish I had business cards. Hold on. I pull out this um, a nice business card myself. It's a playing card. <laughs> I'll give her uh, the Queen of Hearts. I just like you know, gently oh. card throw it her way. Business card, business card, virtual style. <laughs> yeah, and it's the card of a casino. But is it his card? Or do you just like write your information on it in a sharpie? <laughs> it's it's the it yeah, it's the card of a casino with some little like a nice like fountain pen writing Hermes La Fontaine and his phone number. Well, so you have the casino's wants- address. She and wants information page. from him, so she's going to take out her notepad, write her number on the last page, rip it out, and then give it to him in the most unceremonious way possible. <laughs> As opposed to everyone's business cards. I just pocket it and then walk away. <laughs> she then makes a note to order business cards for herself. <laughs> <laughs> You're right. Um, Elliot, please roll me a bot hidden, please. All right. 84. Would you like to push that, or... I'm sure it's fine. Okay, out of the corner of your eye, you think you see your sister in an argument with some teenager. Oh, boy. Uh, I am going to immediately head over there, then. I'm assuming you're not even gonna let Thomas know. You're just gonna be like, "Fuck that guy." Oh, I'm assuming. I'm assuming we're still locked in a fucking uh, staring contest. Unless we're not, in which case, yeah, no. He kind of. He kind of gave you the not so subtle eye roll and kind of looking elsewhere, just like, "Damn it, I'm supposed to stick with this guy." Yeah, I'll just slip away from him. All right. Or at least attempt to. Are you intentionally trying to be sneaky, or are you just like, fuck it and go? Uh... I'd probably just walk, probably just walk away, yeah. Okay. Yeah. No attempt itself. Alright. Roll me another spot hidden, please. Fifty-five. All right. Uh, that is that is still a fail. Um, but it's a ten from your luck. So if you want, you can spend the luck to pass it, or you can try and re-roll. It's that luck, that thing that I have. No, it'll be fine. Okay. Um can't seem to like you saw your sister with the punk and then didn't see you've you've lost sight of her (laughs) oh boy fuck um i'll just keep walking that way then what what could go wrong all right one second I'm sure it'll be fine. Yep. Um. So, Lizette, 
you're kind of watching the shenanigans. You see the um, seeing the shenanigans going down. You see the Unatsu subtle attempt to sneak away the passing of the business cards, and you also see uh this large man bearded man kind of i'm slim thank you very much i'm slim and tall well i'm talking about <clears throat> elliot <laughs> never mind um you're kind of seeing this guy kind of storm past your stall looking very lost and very confused But very irritated, so. Well, none of this really concerns this set, so. She's just people watching at this point. Alright. Exchanging money. Exchanging. Counting change. Still waiting on Sylvia for some reason. Sylvia's a little hold up, held up. Give her a few minutes. That must be. That must be the best fucking lemonade in the whole fair. Probably found, probably ran into one of her friends. Maybe another nurse, someone from the choir, who knows. Uh, go ahead and roll me a spot hidden. Fifty-six. Mm, I'll push that. All right. Eleven. All right. Out of uh, it takes you a minute, but you can see Sylvia coming back. Um, she's she's carrying the drink. Yeah. Um, she spots you. She quickens her quickens her pace. Um, she hands you the lemonade, and she's just. Marvelous, thank you very much, Sylvia. This looks delicious. You missed Mal, but that's fine in my opinion, as you know. Mal was here. Well, did he get anything? He picked up a jar of honey and two of the strawberry jam he likes. Oh, that's wonderful. You didn't give him too much of a hard time, did you? I offered to hand deliver eggs this evening, but he refused. Did you offer him with the catapult? Maybe. <laughs> She's just gonna chuckle and shake her head. Um, and she's gonna see the taller man and she's gonna be like, oh, hello! Trying to wave him down to see if he'll buy something. Is that That's me? Elliot. Uh, Elliot, you see this woman, like, she came over to a stall, or to one of the booths, handed the water, or handed the lemonade, and pecked the woman that was sitting there down on the cheek, um, and now she's kind of waving you over, kind of like, hey, hi, I noticed you're kind of lost. <laughs> or, she's trying to be nice and polite and wave you down. Uh, I guess the first... I don't think we ever n nailed down what my character's sister looked like, did we? Uh, no. Uh... Time to come up with it on the fly. Let's go. Improv, baby. We can retcon it later if you want to change it. Yeah, that'll be a funny bit. Uh, I'm gonna I'll just walk over and be like, hey, have you seen a, a woman, uh... Like, I, about, I don't know, about 25, but long blonde hair, like, about shoulder height to me. Um, no, I, well, possibly near the lemonade booth, but I was kind of focused on not running into anybody to really take a glance at who was there in line with me. Oh, what is that, where's that lemonade booth at, then? Uh, she kind of gestures down a pathway. 
And I will just, I'll take a glance down that way and see if I can't see anything. Uh, spot hidden. No, why is it doing? Discord, stop, please. Ah. Do you want to push it? Sure. <laughs> why not? And what's that? Just roll again? Yep, or... Roll again. Wow. <laughs> but this time it's <laughs> there, it's worse. I'm gonna fucking fight the bot tonight. Goddamn. So you you think you see somebody who's who fits your sister's description, um, but then that person turns around and it's like fully bearded dude. <laughs> so you don't. All right. That was not your sister. and it does not look like you can easily spot her. And I'll just take a deep sigh. Nope. I don't fucking see her anywhere. Where the hell? She was kind of muse out loud. Where the hell could she have gone? <laughs> that would have had her like completely vanish like that. Are you... Wait, I'm trying to remember. Did you mention that she was your sister? Yeah. Okay. Invited me out here to uh, meet uh, that that guy over there, and just kind of point to where Thomas is. <laughs> so it's just, that guy, that guy's a fucking asshole. Ah. From Philly. I'm from Philadelphia. It's, it's too hot out here. How the hell? How does the hell does anyone ever live out here? Usually we invest in short sleeve shirts. Hmm. And I'm just gonna stand there awkwardly for a second. <laughs> so what have you got here? Well, we have fresh eggs, uh, some produce, and some jam, as well as some honey. I'll just stand there and take a second and kind of look. What what kind of produce? Uh, what's that? Which one is? The, the the usual like affair like lettuces shit. Fishes, some homegrown herbs, but mostly like mostly honey. <laughs> I think I'll just buy, like, a thing of honey, then. Fuck it. Right. Like, I'll just look at one, and uh, I'll take a jar of this uh, wildflower honey. All right. Here, it'll be money. <laughs> Monetary amount. I will pass over the completely correct monetary amount of money. All right, she takes it, she hands you the honey. Uh, thank you. I greatly appreciate it. I'll just nod. Don't mention it. And I'll just kind of walk towards the direction that I was pointed to to see if I can't still find her. All right. So as you're walking, are you kind of having your head up or kind of like... Head up. Okay. Um. So go ahead and roll me... Another spot hidden with advantage. So roll twice, pick the lore. <sighs> Man, the dice are not liking you today. I'm gonna... The, the bots got it out for me. Simple. Simple as. Wow. So would you like to re-roll again? Or... No, this is funny, actually. <laughs> Alright. One second. Okay. Absolutely nothing can go wrong. Well, nothing can go wrong, except all of a sudden, a text just slams into you. 
you don't stumble back because, you know, you're a big guy, but the teenager staggers back and is like, hey, watch where you're going. I am just going to look at him. Gonna do and in an attempt to uh, intimidate them. All right, roll me that intimidate. Would you like to re-roll that intimidate? Re-roll it, baby. You can't let a teenager <laughs> Heck yeah. get away with this. All right. so, so, finally. So you, you furrow your brows and that teenager's like steps back. He's a little bit like, oh shit. Didn't mean to pick the fight with the biggest guy here. <laughs> kind of like, yeah. And tries to scurry off without apologizing or just like. I, I'll just. Um... Actually, no, that's. That, that could work. I'll just be like, you. Kid freezes. Just kind of. Very slowly kind of turns back to look at you. I'm trying to find my sister. Uh, long blonde hair, uh, about shoulder height to me. Have you seen her anywhere? Uh, um, no. There's a lot of girls that look like that. I'll just glower at him. Oh, uh, I, I think I saw one lady kind of in line over by the lemonade. She kind of looked that height, I guess. I'll just stare at him for a moment. Let, let him squirm a little bit before just turning and walking that direction then. All right, go ahead and roll me another spot him. I can only, it can only get better. No? All right. You want to re-roll? <sighs> what, could, what could go wrong? Are you fucking kidding me? Uh-huh. I'll just, I'll, I'll take this. Well, you gotta have to. So, um, odd or even, Noki? Uh, odd. Right. Roll me a sanity Because this please. odd has, god damn it. 33, not bad. Unfortunately, it failed, but not bad. Um, so, all of a sudden, you get this weird chill down your back. And you feel a lot of eyes on you. And it's, you can't quite put it into words. But you just kind of feel that creeping edge of being watched. And then as quickly as it showed up, it disappears. Well, that's fucking weird. I, I'm just gonna keep walking, but hurried. What are you up to? I'm walking to the nearest booth of either sustenance or liquids. Hopefully passing by a certain French lady's booth. By chance. Maybe. Oh? And what do we have here? Oh, hello. I ask. Hello. 
Hello. What do we have here? This all looks uh, well, we have pretty tasty. Oh, sorry, go ahead. No, that's all. As you can see, there is honey, there is jams and jellies, some handmade sun items, if you would like. Eggs. Can, can I get a read on the accent? Is it like French from France French? Yes. Yeah. Um, can I attempt to say, uh, even though I, the player, know how to say it, can Hermes attempt to say, you have a very beautiful booth, stall, miss, in French? Uh, go ahead and roll me a language. I have a language. I have a language of French. Yep. And I have the perfect, I have the perfect phrase if I fuck up. Nice. That's a... I got triple zeros. You rolled a hundo, man. You done fucked up. <laughs> I just start sweating. I'm like, mm -mm. Mm -mm. so what did you say to Lizette in French? I was gonna say something, but I went to speak and I'm like, ooh, no. You get a you get mm. a pair of eyebrow raises from Lizette and Sylvia. Is something the matter, sir? Uh. Do you have like a? Do you have a seat nearby? I the the heat just you know, whacked me in the back of the head. Yes, you take my chair. You must be absolutely boiling in that jacket. Instantly takes off the <laughs> the jacket, going like me. I wanted to look fancy. And I people that. thought that I would have a hard time coming into the heat. This is nothing. Well, you're always so cool-headed, Lizette. <laughs> Thank you, Lip. He's trying not to puke. Do you look pale? Yeah, have some honey, get some sugars. I haven't finished my sandwich. I think my sandwich spoiled when I left it up on the hill. <laughs> I don't know how to respond to that. Perhaps maybe do not eat a sandwich that has been left in the heat? Yep. I messed up. Hmm. Uh, Lizette is going to grab like a pot holder and just start fanning him with it. <laughs> sure, go ahead, Malcolm, and we'll listen. Fifty-one. Fifty-one. Is that enough? Is that enough? Is that enough? Yes, it is. Yeah. You hear you hear the voice of Sylvia, and then you also hear Hermes, and Hermes is almost Good God, weekend. do you hear this being nice to someone? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that's is that like, bullshit meter going off? It really is. How'd you know? <laughs> so he hear he's hearing this out of like I was gonna say out of the corner. <laughs> The corner of his ears. Yeah, his ears like perk up as if he was like a fucking he a dog. He's like, oh, um, well, sound was like a dog. Miss Olivia, Miss Baker, nice meeting you. I have uh, some business over there at that stall. If you excuse me, you should check it out. There's some really great honey. Winks and then like oh. yums over there. <laughs> starts uh, strolling over there. He's totally... I, Olivia's welcome to come with if we... Yeah, she was gonna say I 
Well, if you make it sound so good, I guess I'll go check it out now. Um, and so Mal will go and over and he'll be like, Sylvie! Mal! Hey. Oh, and he like, <laughs> he like leans over the booth, like arm, <laughs> hand each of her elbows, gives her like the cheek smooches. Oh, look at that. I am graced with your presence for a second time. Oh, finger gun wink. Wink, wonk. You know, I just, I couldn't help but hear you actually having some good customer service for once. Well, I like to save it for people who count. Oh, that's true. Just a worm, a lowly worm. Look, said Hermes. Doing okay, buddy? Mm -mm. Need some water or something? Yes, please. Is there water nearby, Beth? Uh, I thought there was lemonade. Yeah. That's right. The best lemonade. The best lemonade. Um yeah, a couple of a couple of booths over, there's like the hey, here's the water fountain. Beth. I'm gonna I'm gonna go get him some water and then like but before I go, look at a little bit like since I'm already going, you want some? Um, Give you a moment to peruse, peruse the I heard table. There was lemonade. I'm not going to the lemonade booth. Sorry, Tuts. All right, I see. I'm fine, thank you. You're welcome. And he's gonna go get. <laughs> he's gonna go get the water for Hermes. <laughs> Leave Olivia with the other members of the group. Can I? Attempt to mutter out, I, I wanted to um, practice my French. I'm from uh, New Orleans, and um, my mom, she's from, uh, yeah, she taught me French. It's a little far back, and um, yeah. And this is what caused you to almost pass out? Performance no. anxiety? No, I think it was the sandwich. I can feel it like, you know, you know, when you eat something that you're like, okay with, and all of a sudden comes back to do you, bite you in the, 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 the tokus. Yeah, do you want the pastry you. instead? Yes, please. She, she hands him the pastry that he bought for her <laughs> originally. <laughs> this six foot two, like, like Spike Spiegel looking man just drinks for a second and fully mouse eats the this pastry just little bites by little bites you've gotten your water welcome uh do you want to roll me uh, do you want me to uh spot hidden um, 91. 91. You want to re roll or? Why not? Let's go. 27. 27. Out of the corner of your eye as you're walking back, you see the little broad shouldered guy um, intimidate the one of the vipers and storm off mm -hmm. and you kind of see this one the member of viper kind of scurry away um to a couple of the other members and kind of talking in a very rushed kind of manner hands are kind of going over there gesturing back to the guy that yeah okay um do you want to roll a vibe check mm -hmm. real quick Sure. Uh, 86, and I do not want to reroll. Best vibe check you can get is teenagers. <laughs> Damn, teenagers. Don't they got something better to do? Bike races or something? <laughs> um, 
he's gonna take the water back to Hermes after he like makes the mental note and she's like, well, that was weird. Um Hey, hey, here you go, man. Here you go, buddy. There you go. Ah, okay, now I feel better. Ah. Thank you very much, Mademoiselle. And very not smoothly at all, having just nearly puked in front of you, hands back the chair to, uh, to Lizette gently. Cute. Very cute. <laughs> and now we're all almost here <laughs> watching, waiting, commiserating. Commiserating. Waiting. Mal probably makes small talk with Silly about what jams are coming up next season because he's looking to expand his palette of jams. <laughs> if nobody decides to do something else. What are the herbs? What are the herbs that are uh, on the... Mint, basil, uh, coriander... Oh, celery root, um, dill. I like to I call mean, uh, I like to call it dill with mal. Sylvia thinks it's not funny. <laughs> what? Wait, wait, wait. Which one does the dill with? I... I call it mal. Um, cause I always put you in a pickle when I show up. No, because you are a dill weed. Mm. <laughs> That's it. I see. <laughs> uh, well, see if I give you free time, time on the air. Could I have listen rolls from everyone, please? New skill. New skill. Twelve. Oh, even is that these days? All right. oh. What do I roll for listen? D100. That is a success. The base is 20. The base is 20? Yep. Yes. I'm a little too focused on what produce I should buy. <laughs> I didn't, well, I didn't like fully like fail. Just a little bit. Just a little bit. Yeah. Just a little bit. 38, you know? That's fair. Uh, Elliot, what did you roll? 76. 76, okay. Do you want to push it, or? <laughs> the bot has it out for me. Like, <sighs> hmm. Hmm. Yeah, why not? Okay, that's... Finally, a good fucking roll. It's... Technically still a fail, though. God damn it. But if you spend the five luck, it can be a success. Yes. <laughs> Alright. So, that, and then... making sure that there we go don't forget to for all your successful roles uh, mark it in the check mark category so if you survive you can get improvements if this had failed to push roll all right um Uh, Lizette, you don't really hear anything. Um, 
Mal's kind of you, Mal's doing the thing where he's talking and you're automatically tuning him out, which by extension tunes most everything else out. Standard. Mal Mal's talking, therefore it's time to tune everything out. So you can't hear it. Um one of these days I'll find the answer. What did I do to deserve this? <laughs> <laughs> um however for those that succeeded uh you hear the sounds of a fight starting to break out and there's teenagers oh. yelling and it sounds like a ruckus Not really drawn to chaos. I'll just head Ooh, that way. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yep, I agree. Mm. I'll also go that way. All right. After perusing the honey and the jams. <laughs> like, ooh, nice. Hmm. Gooseberries. Oh, wait, the chaos. <laughs> Having not he heard it, I start making. Uh, pulling out my little little uh, leather bound tome and start making a grocery list for what I could eat tonight <laughs> and walk the other way. <laughs> All right. Like, ooh, zucchini. <laughs> All right. So you guys are heading, following the sounds. You're seeing uh, one of the Vipers, one of the larger members of the Vipers, fighting off uh, a well-dressed well -dressed man near the booth that the young lady was at. Um, it is a pretty loud fight. Um, there's a couple of the other members of the Vipers who are kind of not intent, not greatly keeping basically what they're doing is they're trying crowd control crowd yeah they're crowd control thank you um as this member as the other member is fighting this guy in a the summer version of a dark suit oh god a black suit he must be dying of heat it's like the op like the suit that you wear for formal occasions, but it's in the summer. Yeah, it's just made out of lighter weight materials. Yeah. Chiffon. You fancy lad. All right. He's getting his ass kicked. Uh, oh no! All right, everybody. What's 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 happening? Trying to push my way through everyone. Yeah, I'm very much doing the same thing. I am pushing my way through. All right. Uh, Olivia and Elliot, roll me strength, please. Oh, I forgot it's not on my clipboard anymore. That is, uh, that is a success. Fifty-nine. That's pass for both of you. Um, you guys managed to push through the crowd. Um, Olivia, you're, you know, you've got the business vibe of, like, authority. And Elliot, you've got the science, science to help you. So you guys managed to push through the crowd. Um, and you both are stopped by one of the Vipers who are like, hey, nobody get through. And they have stopped you. Oh. We both get stopped yeah. by one? We both get stopped by one. Is it the different person or the same different person? person. Hmm. All right. <laughs> and like what I'm... S um, I'm just going to try to face, wa face wash past this guy. I'm just going to... I... Sure, I reckon. Push him out oh. of the way. 
<laughs> okay. Yeah, do that. All right, roll me strength check, please. <laughs> hey, like. I like Elliot is like in front of her and Luger's gonna be like, all right, sir, I'm about to and then Elliot just like pushes right through. 39. 39. Um it does take some effort and he like he managed to like first first push, but he pushes back on you. Like I said, nobody's coming through. Oh, it didn't work? Nope. Okay. Guy rolled slightly better strength. I oh, am gonna... Oh. Okay, I'll, I was gonna... Elliot looks that... big and strong, I'm correct? I'm thinking here. Correct. Seth, what did you want to do? Hold on, wait, Elliot looks... Elliot is like a big, big, strong boy, right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's right, yes. All right. Um, um, uh, sir, um, please, uh, let me and my friend through. We need to, we need to make sure this doesn't get out of hand, and I show him my badge. Roll me an intimidate. <laughs> I'm the police! <laughs> yeah, uh, where's intimidate? Uh, dun, 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 dun. that is a nine. I don't know where my intimidate is. If you see it, intimidate space 15, shove. Okay, I think I passed. That is a nine. Okay, he kind of stops, he kind of looks you up and down, he looks at the badge. Go ahead, sweet cheeks. If you can stop him, come on. And I, I, I motion for Elliot to come with me. No, just you, sweet. And I'll just. I'm gonna. Lord help me if I deck a kid today. <laughs> I was. No, he gets you through too. Otherwise, you're coming with me, kid. I was gonna say, did you say the decking kid part out loud? This is very it was important. In, it was in between a sigh. So she just I... wants Elliot to. She just wants Elliot to come with her, please, because he looks like he would be very. Oh, well, I'll just follow. Yeah, I'll just follow anyway. I'll just try to push past him again if he tries to stop me. All right. Roll a strength, Elliot. Twenty-one. Twenty-one. Yeah, that's enough. He's useful. Forty-four. And also part of the team. This is so I needed. Yeah, you managed to shove him up to the ground. And I'll just walk by and say, nice try. Good effort. <laughs> Good effort. Alright, mister, you seem like a, a strong individual. Uh, could you take one of them and pull them and help me pull them apart? I'll nod and say, I'll get I'll get the leather jacket. Thank you, sir. Thank you. All right, Elliot, go ahead and roll me a string. Can I sort of like help him so I can like keep the other guy away from the other guy? Uh, yeah. Go ahead and give him a bonus die or something. Roll with advantage. So roll twice, take the lowest. Me or sixteen. With a, 16. you pick him. Did... You pick up the leather jack wearing guy, and you like you lift him off the ground as you step back. The guy's struggling, but he's not able to escape your grip. You're getting cursed out. Yeah, like I'll just like I'll just fully lift him up, just drag him back, and just kind of like hold him. Arms, like, force his arms to his sides. You get called a variety of colorful things. Is the other guy, like, not trying to fight? Not really, he's... Okay. He's kind of... How does he... How does he look? How roughed up is this other guy here? Uh, not 
too roughed up. It looks like you guys managed to catch it at the beginning of the fight, more or less. Sorry, I'm writing this down in the session log. Um, I'm sorry, sir. I saved you a little time. Uh, what, what, and what happened? Is this the guy that, you know, in the suit? Yes, he seems like the chill one of the two. <laughs> he, he seems like he'd be at least mostly truthful. <laughs> uh, he kind of coughs and kind of tries and composes himself a little bit. Um. Oh, as she motions for Elliot to kind of keep him, keep the uh, keep the viper in his grasp. Um, the guy in the suit kind of manages to pull himself together. I, I'm all right. Just caught me off guard. Would this he just snuck snuck up and attacked you? Yes. Rather uncouth. Alright. Alright, I am sorry. I will come back uh in a second while I question the other one. <laughs> Alright. To which she turns towards the uh teen and uh very very sternly is like, what are you doing? Why are you doing this? Uh, roll me an in. Why do you think this is okay? Roll me an intimidate. Uh, that one's a failure. What's the fail? Uh, 83. <laughs> Would you like to push? Uh, yeah, sure. That's a 41. Uh, he glowers at you. Um, and he's like, I am talking. Ugh. I ain't saying shit to you. All right. We'll see how that keeps up inside a prison cell. I'll, I'll just, I'll just speak up. Answer, answer, or it's a finger. You don't like that threat. That intimidated me just now. Go ahead and roll an intimidation, Oki. Or Elliot. 25. Nice. Um, there is some quiet. He's quiet for a moment. And then you hear almost as a kind of a muttering tone. Fucker knows what he did. What did he do? Fucking took Donnie. Who? Say it again. Who? Donnie. Fucking took him. Oh, Spitty. I'm new here. Can you tell me who that is, please? Well, well uh... While Olivia's asking, I'm gonna look at this other guy. Can I get a vibe check? Does he seem like sus? Uh, uh go ahead and roll me a psychology. Oh, fuck. I, I should have handcuffs on me. Eighty six. Uh, do you want to push or leave it as is? Mm. No. It, it it could be funny, but not not that funny. If I did push and fail again. His vibes are vibes. I'll just nod then. Alright, Olivia, are you gonna try and no, yes. Handcuff him? Yeah. 
All right, roll me a uh, dexterity, please. Well, what was the number? Twelve. Sorry. Oh, okay. Um, and now roll me a sleight of hand, please. It's a little hard. <laughs> um, ten. I don't know why these dice are blessing me though. I don't know either, but nice. Um. Oh, that's that's exactly. Well, at least somebody's getting good <laughs> luck with the dice. Yep. Yeah. Um, with minimal effort, you are able to maneuver him in a way that you can handcuff him. All right, mister. Well, I think I need to take you in. Kid doesn't say anything. He just glares at you and shoot to death glares at the individual. But uh, if you cooperate with me, maybe I can uh, pull some strings. Charm. <laughs> no, it's a fifty-two. Doesn't seem like he buys it. All right. Well, I guess I will uh, take him. Unless, oh wait, do they have? This is the 50s. Do we have, like, a police box? Or, like, a call booth? Uh, roll me a luck. <laughs> 17. Out of the corner of your eye, you can see a police booth box. It's like blue. Basically about a or block something. and a half I don't away. Actually know if I have... Or a couple feet away. You'd be able to with your help, you'd be... Yeah, I'm just gonna call him. You'd be able to drag him. Or with All right. your help, if um, he's willing. With Elliot? Yeah. yeah. Um, mister, can you come with me, please? And with the, um, suspect? I'll nod and say, just call me Elliot. Uh, yes, Mr. Elliot. All right. Uh, and Olivia's just gonna call in badge number 1247 or whatever <laughs> and be like yeah we need um a police car down here and also a ambulance all right at the uh ships the fair paradise park yeah. um phone call it's pretty quick they're like yes of course we'll get we'll get that be about 10 15 minutes, whatever. Uh, tell that to Elliot. It's gonna be a little bit. You can sit here and wait. I keep an eye on the guy, make sure the guy doesn't leave, and uh, and then Elliot can kind of handle the uh, the teenager, the Viper. Yeah, I'll just kind of agree to that. Um, I, I, yeah, I assume the old guy needs like some medical attention, and the the viper needs like a police a trip down to the pen. Yeah, I mean, yeah, the old guy looks fine. You guys did catch the um the fight towards the beginning, so there wasn't as much of a beat down as. Okay. Well, okay. I also point the medics towards uh, Hermes because he's having like a uh, heat stroke. <laughs> you look back at the booth, and Hermes is fully gone. Oh yeah, I forgot about that. Yeah, Hermes has left the metaphorical building. <laughs> so the police take the the viper. Yeah. I assume. Thank right. you. Well, if he's gonna take back her handcuffs before <laughs> before. <laughs> All right, sounds good. 
and as a parting gift, I'll just give him like a very nice uh, shove towards the police officers. Um, just as like a, as a just as like a uh, reminder not to fuck around and they won't have to find out. Uh, roll me a psychology. Fourteen. Fourteen, eh? Finally, some good fucking numbers. Um. Psychology, it's ten, though. Uh, oh. Oh, that was so close. I could. I could spend some luck on this. Okay. It's up to you. Yeah, it'd be funny. Go for it. All right. So, make sure your luck. Don't need it. It's just luck. It'll be fun. Don't need it. Yeah, that's right. You don't need it. It'll be fine. Um. As the kid's being put in the back of the police cruiser, he is giving you the up and down look of sizing you up, but also the vibes of you will be seeing him again. I'll just stare back. Smirk. Yep. Kid's expression doesn't change. Um, and he's driven off in the police cruiser. And I think that's a good place to end our session. Wahaha. So, thank you guys so much for watching. We will see you next time. Bye. Bye.